Valves Valves National gate valves are available with flanged ends in standard API bore sizes and working pressures. Special trims are available for sour gas and oil service on request. National gate valves are also readily available to accept most pneumatic or hydraulic operators. National gate valves meet the applicable standards set forth by the American Petroleum Institute. When ordering, be sure to specify quantity, size, working pressure, end connection, body, and trim materials, and service conditions, such as temperature, pressure, and composition of flow material. The figure is showing gate valve components. Type HCR pressure operated gate valve. The type HCR pressure operated gate valves is a flow line valve requiring relatively low operating pressures. This is a single RAM, hydraulic gate valve packed with elements similar to the old QRC RAM assembly. The closing ratio of well pressure to hydraulic operating pressure is approximately 8 to 1. Available sizes are 4 inch 3000 to 5000 psi working pressure, and 6 inch 3000 and 5000 psi working pressure with standard API flanges. Cameron Type F Gate Valve the Cameron Type F gate valve is a commonly used valve on BOP system lines. The valve is conduit type with no pockets for solids to deposit and hardened rotating seats which distribute wear. Gates and seats may be replaced without disconnecting the valves. These valves may be equipped with either hydraulic or pneumatic operators. Control pressure is lower, especially at high operating pressures. Sizes from 1 minus 13 sixteenths to 6 minus 6 eighths inch are available in ratings of 2000 to 10,000 working pressure. Failsafe type F valves are opened and held open by control pressure in the operating cylinder. Line pressure tends to close the valve because the gate and stem move outward in closing. Closing force is supplied by valve body pressure acting on the stem area, plus the action of a coiled spring. Since operating pressure is low so that closing ratio is not problem, fail-safe models close automatically upon loss of pressure and are ideally suited for sub-sea use. Fail-safe valves. High pressure choke and kill lines run from the stack to the choke manifold on the rig floor. To shut these lines off when not required, each is equipped with two fail-safe valves. These can be opened hydraulically from the surface but when the opening pressure is released spring action automatically forces the gate closed. The valves are always rated at the same pressure as the stack and choke and kill lines. Due to space limitations the first valve out from the stack, the inner valve, is a 90 degree type with a target to avoid sand cutting. The outer valve is straight through and must be able to hold pressure from on top as well as below when the choke and kill lines are tested. In the Cameron Type AF fail-safe valve flow line pressure acting against the lower end of the balancing stem assists in closing the valve. A port in the operator housing allows the hydrostatic pressure due to water depth to balance the hydrostatic head of the operating fluid. A resilient sleeve transmits the sea water pressure to an oil chamber on the spring side of the operating piston. Without this feature the hydrostatic head of the operating fluid acting on top of the piston would tend to open the valve itself especially in deep water. Liquid lock between the two valves in each line is eliminated by porting the fluid exhausted from the pressure chamber when opening the valve, away from the neighboring valve. The figure is showing Cameron Type AF fail-safe valve components. Inside BOPS Drill Pipe Float Valves The drill pipe float valve and the flapper type of back pressure valve, serve essentially the same purpose, but differ in design. These valves provide instantaneous shut-off against high or low back pressure and allow full fluid flow through the drill string. Another advantage is that it prevents cuttings from entering the drill string, thus reducing the likelihood of pulling a wet string. Abnormal pressures and anticipated subnormal pressure zones should be the deciding factor regarding what type of valve to run or the possibility of not running any valve at all. Expectations of abnormal pressures have shown the vented type of flapper valve to be the most popular because of the ease involved in recording shut-in drill pipe pressures. The disadvantages are that the pipe must be filled while tripping in, and reverse circulation is not possible. Kelly Cock and Gray Valve 
Check Guard Installing a check guard improves well control significantly. It serves as a check valve to prevent upward flow through the drill string while permitting downward mud pumping or flow from injectors. While stripping drill pipe into the hole, check guard control upward pressure in the annulus and in the drill pipe. Latching the check valve into the landing sub contains the pressure in the drill pipe. Prior to shearing drill pipe, install the check valve to protect against the release of well pressures. Installation of the check valve simplifies well control, since formation pressures cannot communicate up the drill string. While tripping, check guard contains upward well bore pressure in the drill pipe, allowing the top connection to be open. Check guard uses a spring and ball design. Fluid can be pumped through the valve from the top. But when fluid tries to flow from the bottom to the top, it is sealed by the spring-loaded ball against the seat. A large rubber packer provides sealing when fluid attempts to flow around the valve. The packer is engaged by the tapered body. The body is driven upward by pressure from below. The more pressure from below, the tighter the seal is. Installation and retrieval install the landing sub in the drill string while tripping into the hole. Position the landing sub in the lower end of the drill string. Install the check valve by dropping it into an open tool joint. Connect the Kelly and pump the check valve into the landing sub. Use the drill pipe safety Kelly guard and lower the Kelly guard if excessive backflow exists. Retrieve the check valve by installing a sinker bar above the retrieving tool and using a wire line. Use normal wire line procedure. Another way is to trip the drill string and remove the check valve from the landing sub with the retrieval tool. Operating tips include ensuring the packer rubber is clean and pliable. Check for foreign substances such as paint, grease, and dirt on the packer surface. Check for cracking and embrittlement of packer. Never oil rubber packer. Replace packer if condition requires. The check valve should be disassembled, cleaned, and lubricated, not packer, once it is retrieved from the landing sub after downhole use. The valve should be stored in a protected area, away from sun and rain while not in use. This protects the working parts and packer.